fruity, 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 fruity. Duty, 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 duty. Moody, 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 moody. There was a special 25th anniversary screening of Rudy in theaters over the weekend, and we were lucky enough to get to go and see it. What did you think? I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed how he, Rudy worked hard to get on that football team, and everyone thought he couldn't do it. But I don't like football, but I actually enjoyed the film about football. But I think it's just because you can apply it to any sport you like. Right, or actually any, anything you like. Like, mm -hmm. again, you like dance, mm -hmm. so you could apply it to that. Somebody tells you you can't do something. Like, we went to see that movie Leap about mm -hmm. dance, and she was basically told that she wasn't a dancer and, and she worked hard. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's really good insight on your part that the message, I think it's the message you're talking about mm -hmm. for you is, is won you over because you don't care for football, football very much. When it's on, you don't I really watch it. I honestly don't know what it's about either. Right. It's, it's a hard sport to follow. There's a lot of rules and there's a lot of exceptions to rules and what have you, but you like the story about the person. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what did you think of the acting in the film? I thought that the person playing Rudy was actually really great. And I thought he did all the stuff that he had to play in the part really well, even though I don't know the actual story of the real, not the actual story, but you know. You don't know who the real Rudy was. Although right. there was a little bit of a documentary thing just oh, before yeah. the film that showed him, and he's much older now, so. Now, you know the actor who played Rudy. Do you remember what movie you saw him in? Mikey from the Goonies. Right, that was Mikey from the Goonies, except he's all grown up in this film. Mm -hmm. Now, I saw this film when it first came out, when it was in theaters, when it was originally released. And uh, I remember having mixed feelings about the film, but I didn't remember why. Okay, I remember, I remember liking the film, but having mixed feelings for some reason. And whenever it's been on TV, it's, it's interesting. If it's on TV, and it's in the second half of the film where he's actually now been accepted at Notre Dame and he's mm -hmm. a student at Notre Dame. And I'm sorry if that's a spoiler, but it's like the search for Spock. They're going to search for Spock and they don't find him, right? So he's going to play for Notre Dame. You know he's going to get in there. So the film up through the point where he's at Holy Cross and then he transfers to Notre Dame. If I catch the film from the point where he's at Notre Dame through the end, I'll stop and I'll watch the film. If I catch the film in the first half, up through the point where he's at Holy Cross, I would always flip the channel, and I didn't know why. And when we saw this film in the theater, I realized why. For me, the first half of the film is a little bit too Hollywood. It's a little bit too syrupy. It's a little heavy-handed the way it's... And I, I mean, it's not the fault of the actor. I'm not saying that. I think it's actually the, the direction of the film. They really... It's, it's like they were trying for an Oscar, and they were trying a little too hard, and it... The story was a little bit, it, it was just a little too much. Uh, and, and then once he gets accepted at Notre Dame and he's on the football team and they're practicing and the guys who are on the first string, on the Notre Dame first string, they start to kind of admire him and be friends with him or, or what have you. At that point, the film for me wins me over. And by the end of the film, it's, you know, when they start chanting Rudy, Rudy. And he finally gets on the field, and the, and the crowd goes, you you got to be made of stone not to feel something at that point. It's obviously a very moving film. And the second half of the film, for me, works very well. Charles Dutton's character, that's the, that's the guy who's the groundskeeper on the field that mm -hmm. he works for. He, he turns in a fine performance. Of course, Sean Astin as Rudy is very good. Vince Vaughn, who... I don't know that you would know him from anything, but he's in a little bit part in there, and his character comes around at the end. And, and even though he and Rudy didn't get along, mm -hmm. and he actually doesn't like Rudy, he winds up doing something kind and, and helping uh -huh. him and, and everything. And it's hard not to get behind the film at that point. It's hard not to feel good because all these people 
start to believe in him and people who didn't like him get behind him and mm -hmm. and he's just a nice guy uh -huh. you know and you can see that and it seems like that in the first part of the movie for me they're trying too hard to show that he's a nice guy or to prove that he's a nice guy and i don't think we needed that i think just by his actions and who he was you you could get that without mm -hmm. that so for me th that's where i that's kind of where i fell on on the movie that's that the first half is is a little bit much for me but by the second half of the film i really was enjoying it because to be honest with you when we were sitting there the first half of the film i'm like oh why did i drag them to this but you liked it did you like the first yeah. half i thought there wasn't that much action in it but i did think it was okay right and i mean you need that you need the backstory you need the right. what sets up the the story to that point in order to understand how much he overcame mm -hmm. and I have no problem with that with the beats of the story I guess I have a problem with the way it was presented because I felt it was a little syrupy for me it was a little too Hollywood-esque you know what I mean so uh, did you have a favorite part of the film hmm. I really don't think so I liked it most of it all I I think for me my absolute favorite part is when the big lineman, the one that, now, originally, you know, in practice, this lineman knocks Rudy over. Oh, yeah. Remember? And um, then the next time he, he doesn't hit him because he's afraid he's going to hurt him. And the coach yells at this guy. And, and this guy could actually wind up, you know, hating Rudy because he got yelled at because he was trying to protect him. Mm -hmm. He winds up kind of, you know, being a friend of his. And he's the one that starts the chant on the sidelines because the coach oh, isn't yeah. going to put him in. And he starts the chant on the sideline, and then everybody starts chanting, and the assistant coaches, even the one that didn't like him at first or thought he was you know, not going to be worth mm -hmm. anything to the team, he's chanting. And then Vince Vaughn's character goes on the field, and, and they kind of defy the coach. And, mm -hmm. and, and they, they run a play when they're not supposed to, and it's his idea, and that's so that they can get Rudy on the field. Right. Because Rudy plays defense, and if the offense is on the field, Rudy can't play, and the coach wants him just to kneel down on the ball. Uh, and one of the other big moments for me is when they all, all the first teamers bring their jerseys in and they, and they tell the coach, I want, I want Rudy to dress in my mm -hmm. place. I mean, again, you, you have to be the most hard-hearted person in the world not to feel something when they're doing that. Because it's, you know, that's the kind of thing that you, you, you hope people are. You hope people act that mm -hmm. way and you hope people would do that kind of stuff. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. And like you said, you know, it's a football movie, but you don't, you don't care for football, but you still found it enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and I think that's because of the story, right? I mean, the message, like mm -hmm. you said. Did you, was there anything else you thought about? Was there anything uh, that bothered you in the movie? Anything that was... Not really, no. No. There was, there was one part I didn't let you watch, and that's when his friend back home, when they're working in the, oh. in the mill, and his friend, there's the accident, and his friend is, uh, unfortunately, is uh, injured and, and killed, actually. I didn't let you watch it. Colton went with us to the movie, and I didn't let him watch that part either. Um, it was enough to say that, you know, uh, his friend passed away. And I, you, you knew what happened without having to see it. So I think that, that's the only part that was really somewhat questionable in my mind. Colton seemed to enjoy it. He was very tired that day, but he liked the movie, and when he got mm -hmm. out of it, he, he said he liked it. So on his really liking it scale, it was, it was definitely, he liked it. So that was good. <laughs> Anything else? So I would, think so. Would you recommend it for kids your age? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to be a football fan to like it? No. All right, so yummy or crummy for you? Yummy. yummy. Okay, and for me, I guess the first half I would have to say is edible for me. Edible. And then the second half definitely is yummy. So, I mean, the second half definitely redeems it. That's what you go out of the theater remembering is the second half of the film. And it's definitely worth watching for that. Uh, the, the first half, like I said, you know, has, has moments where, um, I don't want to say it's cringeworthy, but it is a little bit difficult to, to take in, to digest. So. so you're almost like in the mail of edible and crummy? Right, yeah. Or not I had a little bit of digestive crummy. issues with the, with the first half. But the, by the second half, you know, it was, the dessert was worth it. All right. Well, that's it.